When in Rome, right? Not every day I get to visit Hood River, Oregon. And uh, so today I'm visiting Fermented Brewing Company, which I've never actually heard of before and never been to before. And if I'm making eyeballs at other people, it's because there's other people looking at me funny. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm related to several of them. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm trying not quite a flight, but a smaller pours of the clock out lager, which is apparently some German tradition where you only you drink the beer straight at the source. So this is only available at the fermented brewing company. Um, you can get it in a growler if you'd like, but it's, the, it's what you do. Um, and then the uh, Citra IPA, which is fresh from their tank, they say. So that's pretty cool. And then they have an extra special bitters. So I'm looking forward to trying that. So dive right in, eh? So I hadn't even heard about fermented brewing before today, looking up to see what's available in the area. Um, but let's uh, see how that stands up. So this is the, um, the clock out lager. Here's a fruit. Um, uh, it's, a, it's a tropical fruit, but not a common one. Maybe passion fruit? Um, the, the, the hot bitterness is, is really clean, it's really nice, the malt is really clear. Uh, there's a lot of depth and, and character to this beer. I really like it. It tastes fresh, uh, it tastes delicious. Uh, a lot of different layers. It's not overly bitter. It's not, it's not overly anything. It's, it's perfect. It's one of those, you know, middle of the road, does things well beers that I talk about a lot. Too bad I can't get this in a can up in Oli. Goodness gracious. It's a good beer. It's a very tasty beer. I like that. Um, maybe some uh, apple? Like, like a uh, uh, stewed apple. Um, what else? And then a real nice kind of funkiness. The malt's uh, like, a, like a graham crack, not a, a cracker kind of malt. Um, maybe brown bread and uh, real just mild hop hoppiness. Really like that. That's good stuff. So let's try the uh, Citra IPA. Okay, so I smell I smell uh, lemon peel and grapefruit. Um, it's a real hazy IPA. In fact, it, it reminds me a bit of grapefruit juice. It has a slight pinkish taste. <laughs> don't want to sniff the beer. <laughs> I mean, I like it, but... <laughs> IPAs get a, get a reputation for being really bitter. But goodness gracious, a fresh, well-crafted IPA doesn't have to be bitter. That is, that is, that is really good. Um, okay, so the, the grapefruit continues through. The, um, it's really just very levels of really nice, mild, fruity sweetness throughout the whole thing. Uh, there's some some hop, some some maltiness to it, but overall the primary character is like pineapple juice, grapefruit juice, um, some lemon peel. If anything, the bitterness is more towards the front, um, like the front of the tongue, and then it ends up kind of coating. It, it's real. It's real. Uh, it's a very thick beer. Real, well, relatively speaking, um, uh, it's got a lot of body. It's a rather full-bodied beer, and so it ends up almost like coating my tongue in a really interesting way that kind of changes the character as as I drink it. That's quite nice. I like that. That's the Citra IPA. Now yeah, the extra special bitter. It's been a long time since I've had a like a, a classic bitters. Not super common around here. But okay, so darker color. So this is going to be your what? Crystal malts, I believe, um, or a blend. It smells toasty, dark and toasty. Okay, um, dark crackers. 
uh, campfire. Um, what else? Maybe uh, a little bit of chocolate, like a milk chocolate. Um, but being a being a fresh beer, it, it has this real it it has a brightness to it. Um, the, the flavors aren't muted, so they're it's, it's really bright. It almost feels kind of a, a, a juice-like character, but with the with the stronger roasting of the malt, it definitely has a, a darker character, and, and that bitterness is is very delicious, very nice. It's a very balanced beer. Uh, the the bitterness lingers as I as I drunk it; it's just still there. Um, of these three, I think the extra special bitter probably has the most character. Uh, it's it's just the most interesting. It's not that the others aren't interesting; they're all delicious and and such. I would probably pair the clockout lager with pretty much any food that you could get. That's that's just going to be the jack of all trades, and it fits beautifully. It's delicious, and it works very well for that. Um, the the Citra IPA. Holy, I think it's the Holy Citra IPA. Um, that's like a, a really nice, just crushable, drinkable IPA. I could have several, several bottles of that <laughs> in a long afternoon or something like that. That's just, that's really enjoyable and could drink it over and over and over again. The, I would say the extra special bitter is probably my favorite. Um, it just hits all. It hits on all notes. It's it's got that that really nice um, uh, bitterness to it. This is delicious. It's got the, the strong malt character, but it's a dark roasty malt. Like a, it's a, it means something, and um, it's the one I've drunk the most of too. <laughs> of course. So, on that note. I will see all y'all later. Not in Hood River, Oregon anymore. Um, I'm planning on picking up a few bottles before I leave here because, like I said, I can't get them up north, so get them while they're here. They have some very interesting wild fermented ales I'm looking forward to trying. Uh, so look for those coming up in the future, and I will catch y'all on the flip side. <laughs>